What's going on everyone? Sean's the name, YouTube's the game. Welcome back to a new video that is a little bit similar to YouTube, but we're gonna be talking about how to actually create a Google Ads account so you can actually run ads on YouTube. And this is gonna be a full walkthrough on how you do it because a lot of people get a little bit confused with Google Ads. They always think Facebook ads are easier and a lot more user friendly, so we're gonna go ahead and use Facebook ads when Google Ads is actually another phenomenal tool you can add to your tool belt when you are going about growing your business. And if you don't know who I am, no worries. My name's Sean, I've been on YouTube forever now, and I've done a lot of videos in the past on how to grow a channel on YouTube, how to grow a business on YouTube, but now I figured we not only look at the back end of YouTube, but we take a look at the back end of the back end of YouTube. Because if you don't know, Google owns YouTube, okay? So again, if you wanna run ads on YouTube, you need to set up a Google Ads account, which we will be doing today. Also, there's a 100% chance you will have terrible click-through rates and terrible cost per clicks, unless you like this video. No, but seriously, I'd really appreciate it if you can hit that like button on this video. And if you're new to this channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. I go over all sorts of great tips to help you guys build your business on this channel. But let's go ahead and take a look at the Google Ads platform. Now, if you don't know how to get to the Google Ads platform, very simple, just go ahead and type in ads.google.com and that'll take you over to the platform. And again, if you've never been here before and you never have an account, this might look slightly different for you, but I'm gonna go ahead and actually try to create a new account for you so you can see everything firsthand. So as you can see, I've actually got my main Google Ads account that I use all of my stuff for right here. I actually made another example account previously in uh, some of my master classes where I actually teach how to do um, this kind of stuff and how to get good results out of your ads. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually create a new one today and hopefully it'll let me create three. I don't know, I've never seen this. All right, here we go. Looks like I'll be able to create another one. Um, okay, so this is gonna be the first thing you should see when you go to create an account on ads.google.com. And I'm gonna tell you right now, the way you create an account on Google Ads, in my opinion, is Super dumb, uh, but Google's a billion dollar corporation. They've probably got some research behind this and got this figured out, but you cannot make an account on Google ads unless you actually create an ad first. Backwards thinking, I know you think, huh, I need to create an account and then create an ad, but Google's like, create an ad, and then we'll create you an account. I don't know, but that's pretty much what you have to do. It seems very weird, but you just have to create an ad before you create an account. And none of this information actually matters. You can literally create the dumbest ad ever. You don't have to run it. You don't have to waste any money on it. Uh, very simple. So I'm just gonna go very simple. Um, I'll just say get more visits, to get get more website sales or signups. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pick that goal. And then we're gonna go to the next question. And again, this is literally what it looks like when you go to create a new ad in Google Ads. So. Um, it's very weird, but uh, it all makes sense kind of later on. So we're just gonna type in business name. I'm just gonna type in Sean Malku. Business website, we'll just put in one of my many, we'll just put in my landing page website, seanmalku.com. Go ahead and throw in a www, maybe we'll need one. Go ahead and do next on that. Next thing is gonna say, where are your customers? Well, I don't really care right now, so I'm just gonna immediately hit next and not even really care about it. Even though my customers might be in the United States, might not be in the United States, it really doesn't matter. Um, then you can go ahead and pick a business category. Sure, we'll do business entrepreneur. Um, let's see, suggested for you, all this stuff. Eh, whatever, we'll just do next. It really does not matter right now. Um, you actually have to create a Google ad, okay? So if you want to eventually use this ad later on, you can actually change up the words you want on this, but uh, I recommend you just get through it. You just try to make your account as soon as possible. Um, although this is good practice, if you've never created a Google ad before, I guess you can kind of get familiar with it as you're creating your ad, ultimately up to you. But essentially, here's a, a good little advice if you are completely new to this. This is what your ad will actually look like. So if you're ever searching around on Google and you Google something like, I don't know, if you were to just Google literally any word, you can Google food. And the first few search results that actually show up are gonna be ads, and that's why you can always see by the ad. I personally, and a lot of other people, will scroll past the ads until they see the first organically searched website. But this is pretty much what it looks like. So if I were to change any of this, it would, it would automatically change it. So I could just say, test ad, click me. Um, whatever, it doesn't really matter. We'll go ahead and do next. And then you can kind of look at your budget and review after you get your ad knocked down. Um, I don't really want any images or logos on here, so I'm just gonna hit next. You can set your budget, so we can set this to a million dollars a day or something like, oh, never mind. I guess we can only set it to 
20 grand a day. Okay, well then I guess we'll just do 50 cents in Google. Oh, okay, we need $1.65. All right, so we'll just do that. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. This is the dumb thing about this campaign is I'm never gonna actually run this campaign. Uh, but you can kind of look at it. It's pretty much terrible. This is a terrible ad right now. Um, I'm targeting people in the United States. I think that's the only targeting I have right now. And I don't even know, I don't even know what this ad is even saying. If I already even see this, I don't even know what I would think. Uh, but anyway, hit next, get it all, get it all figured out. Um, and then you gotta set up your billing. So this is the only thing in this entire process that I actually recommend that you do. Um, somehow, oh, I guess because I'm logged into my Google account, it already knows uh, one of my bank accounts that I use for this, um, one of my business accounts. So. I should be totally fine if I just hit submit. Uh, you can also add promotional codes. There are tons of promotional codes out there. Um, so I definitely recommend you Googling around, try to find some. If I have some, I'll leave them in the description of this video for you guys to check out. There's a lot of really good ones. Google will match your your initial like 100, 150 bucks you, you spend. But yeah, definitely set up your billing um, account and everything like that. You wanna set that up you know, with real information, not just to get through. You want your actual payment info on there. Then you can go ahead and hit submit. It'll set up your billing, and then you are pretty much done. You get this great screen saying, yeah, you're done. You got this cool little, little graphic, and then you can go ahead and explore your campaign. And this is where you will actually have a Google Ads account. So again, pretty dumb in my opinion, but you have to create an ad before you can actually get into your account. But now we have an actual account, so we can go ahead and create more campaigns. We can fine tune the terrible one we created. We can create a different one. Um, I always recommend that you get out of the smart view. So we are in smart view right now. Um, very annoying. I always recommend you just go to switch to expert mode. It'll look a lot similar to Facebook ads if you've ran those. Um, I don't know anyone who uses this smart view or smart campaign or smart ads, whatever they wanna call it. I personally hate it. Uh, ultimately up to you though, and uh, for you to decide what you wanna do. But ultimately, that is how you create a Google Ads account. Hopefully you learned something new. If you did, definitely let me know by dropping me a line down below, smashing like on the video again. I really appreciate that. And also, hang around on this channel. I'm gonna be going over so many other good things with Google Ads, how to get great click-through rates, cost per clicks, those kind of things on this channel. I love giving away some free, valuable content. So definitely subscribe if you're new. Until next time though, I wish you all the best of luck out there.